When I started Simba Education, the vision was really to impact the world of early years education in a way that had never been done before. As part of the Econet group, we have always innovated. Everyone knows how Econet started being one of the pioneering teleco companies in Zimbabwe. And even after then, as we have gone on, one of our main principles has always been to innovate and to address the challenges that face African economies and African communities. So it was natural for me to start a business that addressed a challenge that hadn't been addressed at scale in the nation of Zimbabwe and in neighboring countries. Zimbabwe is what we call our sandbox market. So we sort of experiment there and then we sort of grow on into other markets, bigger markets and markets that need us the most. Simba Education was designed for teachers. It was a technology for teachers to be able to teach better to have better resources in the classroom. There's a difference between having money to buy resources and just having accessibility. Teachers in some schools had the money for the textbooks, but sometimes the textbooks just didn't exist. The vision for Simba was for things to exist in a way that was relevant to African curricula, relevant to the way that Africans learn. When I remember the details of some of the content that we have on the Simba platform, I think about how I sort of, you know, in primary school and in preschool learned that there's a choo-choo train. And in some of our African cities, we don't have trains. Um, there's books where there's a black cab and we hail a taxi or a combi and we sometimes do it like this. And so our content really has been designed to be able to bring education in a way that is relatable, that is fun and that is contextual. And I truly believe that that is how we are going to be able to leapfrog our education sectors in Africa, to make it relevant, to make education the platform for us to build the Africa that we want to see. And so Simba has been around for a couple of years. I mean, we have had an incredible journey. Our goal initially was technology, but we quickly learned that there were low digital literacy skills, lack of access to enough devices, connectivity was an issue. And so as we went along, we just developed different products that would really help bolster what technology was. Some of my favorite are the Growing Tree program, uh, where we created a textbook that was matched with a tech platform that allowed students to learn and it became a lot more amplified during lockdown. COVID presented an opportunity for us to continuously pivot and test different models in the early years education sector. And so when you're a business and you're a founder, you always know that you have a vision for your company to grow beyond yourself. And Simba is definitely still young. It's still a young startup, but I think that we've had so much impact. I mean, there's this general misconception that we are a charity. We are not a charity. A lot of our customers pay for their products, but I always felt as though sometimes we're shortchanged. Sometimes people overcharge for products that are such high quality and sometimes when you bring the price down a little bit a lot more people can use it so when i founded simba i always knew that i wanted to price in a way that was accessible to a lot more people even though i knew that the product i was offering was such high quality and that i could charge such a high amount for it but scale was always the name of the game for me and so the Simba group, we have customers that are in our preschool, we've got customers on our technology, on our textbooks, and they've been great partners to us. But Simba has now reached a new horizon. This year, Simba will be joining forces with Rezivo Education and Akello Classroom. And we are now on a mission to build Africa's largest digital education company, starting in Southern Africa. We have merged all of our products, but we've done something extra. We have created even newer products. We have given Akello a new face, and we are on a mission to make sure that we get nothing but the best. Why do I mention Africa? There are a lot of edutech platforms out there, 
but there are very few that cater to African curriculum. Our governments have made such tremendous efforts to teach us in a way that is country relevant. In Zimbabwe, we have ZIMSEC, South Africa, we're CAPS compliant, different nations have different curricula, and it is designed to address the needs of their communities and their nation. So what sets Akello apart is that we are offering the curricula of the country in which your student is logging in from. We have games and characters that are relevant to African communities. In Zimbabwe, for example, your avatar is a Chibage or a Mbira. In South Africa, the character's name is Tandeka. We want to go African in a way that I know many, many companies are doing. We, will, we want to do it at scale and we want to make sure that we leapfrog in education the way that we've been able to do in financial, in the financial sector, in fintech, the way that we have done using mobile phones, using USSD, the way that we have scaled so many solutions on our continent. You know, Africa is rich with so much talent and we want to show off our talent in education and Akello is the first step in doing so. So watch this space. I know I've said that before. And in many times in the past, this space has developed. And so I promise you again, watch this space because Akello is going to shift the way in which we learn in Africa.